What's going on guys? So today we're gonna see just how stylish you are. Guys, a few days ago I put a call out on Instagram to send me some photos of yourselves in your sort of go-to summer outfit. And so I got a bunch of photos. Thank you all very, very much. So let's jump in and see just how stylish you are. Stick with me. All right, guys, welcome back. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So guys, let's jump right in because as I mentioned in the opening a few days ago, I put a call out on Instagram and also in my YouTube uh, community tab to send me some photos of yourself in your go-to summer outfit. I didn't care what it was. It could be shorts, it could be a suit. Didn't really matter. Just something that represents who you are and your personality during the summertime. So I got a bunch of submissions. I couldn't get to everyone. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys very, very much, each and every one of you for sending me photos. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, this should be a pretty good time, so let's hop right in. Okay, one really quick thing that I do want to get out of the way right off the top is that this critique is fun. Uh, if I give my opinion or advice or critique the outfit in any way, it's simply a critique about the clothing. It is in no way a reflection of my opinion about the individual person. So. This should be common sense, but I do need to make that statement just to make sure we're all on the same page, guys. So let's jump in. All right, first up is uh, our friend Christian, and these aren't really in any particular order, and they're actually probably, the more I look at it now, they're probably gonna be in alphabetical order. So we've got our friend Christian. Christian's looking pretty good. Christian, are you a young guy? Like, come on, what's going on here? You look like you're 25, holy smokes. So Christian's looking pretty good. I'm gonna zoom in here so I can see a little bit here. Okay, clean white sneakers. It looks like we've got some gray. Are these denim? Are we jeans or are we chinos? I'm thinking these are some type of a denim. I really like the fit here, Christian. This is a really phenomenal fit for the denim. Not too tight, not overly loose. Everything looks where it's supposed to be. We've got a, I believe a black or a dark navy polo underneath a kind of medium blue denim jacket. I think everything looks, looks pretty good, man. I don't know that I would really change a whole lot. You did say in your message that uh, when you went out that day after you took this photo that you rolled up, you turned up your sleeves on your jacket, which I think is a pretty good idea. I think maybe if anything, the jacket looks a little big for you. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but otherwise, Christian, good job, man. I like it. Thank you for sending your photos in, man. Okay, next up we have our friend Dan. Let's take a look at what Dan's running with here. All right, Dan, let's start at the bottom and work our way up, if my computer will let me squeeze in. All right, nice classic white sneakers. I think they look great. What do we got? Uh, gray chinos to some degree. They don't look like denim, but they look like a kind of a, a denim take on chinos because there's it looks like there's a rivet in the front pocket. The fit's phenomenal. I don't know that there's the fit is amazing. I wouldn't change a thing with the trousers. We've got a, it looks like a black Anson belt. And then this really cool striped shirt. I think the shirt stripes are a little bold, uh, at least for me. I don't mind it though on you. You look like a pretty tall fit guy. The only thing that I may, might think about changing is the belt. The belt seems to be a black stripe right across your midsection. And I might lighten that up with maybe a gray belt to some degree. I think a gray belt might look a little bit better, just something a little bit lighter. But otherwise, um, 100% man, thanks for sending your photos in. Okay, next up we have our good friend Dewan. So Dewan uh, has been featured in, I think another, at least one or two critiques that I've done. So very, very nice to see you again, Dewan. Thanks for sending your photos in. All right, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. We have some very nice looking casual all white sneakers. I don't know what brand they are, but they look really, really nice. Uh, we've got some tan chinos. I would say that I think they look, maybe maybe they could use a tiny bit of a taper, Dewan, from the knee down to the ankle opening. It just looks a little bit wide, for me anyway, in my opinion. We've got a nice looking watch. I don't know what kind of watch that is. Uh, and then we've got a purple striped shirt. I would say, in my opinion, um, the shirt reads a little youthful, a little, a little young for me. I don't mind it though on you. The coloring is really, really nice on you. The fit is really nice. I have zero complaints about the fit. The sleeve length is fine. The sleeve 
opening is fine. The shoulders fit you really well. The body of the shirt fits you really well. So overall, the fit is really, really nice. I just think that the maybe it's just the pattern or the color choice just reads a little young for me. Otherwise, I don't, I don't mind the look, man. I don't mind the outfit whatsoever. Again, these are like little tiny nitpicks. So overall, man, well done and thanks again. Next up, we have our friend Eric in uh, New York City. So Eric's a professional. So Eric has been featured in an another one of my critiques. He's got a pretty big uh, Instagram following, if I recall. So let's run down Eric. So Eric's doing a lot of things really, really well. Eric is a shorter guy. I don't know how tall you are, Eric, but I, I know you're, um, you're under 5'7", I want to say. Uh, but let's take a look. Are those like, I think they're gray and white sneakers. They look really, really nice. They look brand new as well. Otherwise you keep them very clean, good for you. I do like them. Uh, the jeans fit you perfectly. I like the top, the the t-shirt. The I don't know if it's like a, it looks like a really thick material or like a thicker, uh, fancier fabric than just a standard cotton t-shirt. I like that there's a waistband um, around the lower part of the shirt. I like that the sleeves have sort of a band on them. I like the white stripe on the sleeves. Uh, all in all, Eric, the sunglasses look cool. The beard's looking cool. Really, really well done. Thank you very much for sending in your photo. All right, now we've got our friend Greg. So Greg is doing a really nice job of a monochromatic look, but everything's looking either black or like a dark navy blue, which I really like. The shoes um, are looking like a nice, again, black or blue, Kind of a nice fashion sneaker. I like that. We've got dark socks. I like the denim because it's a dark wash denim, but it looks like it's got some interesting texture going on with the denim, which I do really like. Uh, and then we're sort of running with, I don't know, Greg, is that a polo shirt or a Henley? That might be a three button Henley. It could be a polo. I'm not exactly sure. I can't really tell. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I like the, the navy bomber jacket i'm assuming that's a bomber jacket yeah that's a nice bomber jacket and then of course we've got the hat to match i don't mind this at all i really it's a very casual look but it's put together like you can tell that there was intent with your selection of what you put on that day so really well done thank you very much for sending them this photo all right coming in next we have our friend john and so john sent me i think three photos two of them were really similar and kind of dark uh, i went with this one because i i, I liked it better uh, nice white athletic sneakers. I would, in my opinion, I think the sneakers are a little, it's a little chunky, um, a little trendy, a little chunky. Not that bad though. I like the overall idea for sure. The jeans look like they fit you really, really great. I think you've cuffed them up once or twice. Nice job. That adds a little touch of class down there. White t-shirt with a flannel. It looks like a flannel uh, over shirt. I don't know if you're drinking wine or what's going on there, but uh, maybe it's just ice water. Nice haircut, nice beard. All in all, dude, not bad. I don't know what to really say here other than my my opinion on the shoe choice, but otherwise, very casual. I could see barbecue hanging out at the park. Nice job, man. Thanks for sending in your photo. All right, next up, we've got my friend Kevin. So Kevin is running with some boots that I think I need in my life right now. Uh, these are, I think, a tan. I don't think they're gray but uh, they almost maybe look gray. I think they're just a light tan suede Chelsea boot. I think we're running with black denim. I think we've got a black, is that an Anson belt? It looks like an Anson belt. Very nice. And I like the shirt because it picks up black from the, from the jeans as well. So I'm totally cool with that pattern, the blue, white, black sort of check pattern, cool sunglasses. I don't mind this look at all. Kevin, you know what you're doing. Very, very nice. Thank you for being a part of this, man. I appreciate it very much. Next, we have our friend Majid. Now he sent me in two photos and I wanna show both of them. The first one is um, Majid wearing this nice, nice looking light gray summer suit. So we'll start down at the shoes. I think we're either black or navy uh, tassel loafers. I think they look really, really nice. The trousers fit you really well. I wouldn't change a thing there. They fit really phenomenal. The jacket looks like it fits you great. Sunglasses look really nice. The only thing, and I had to squeeze in to check this uh, close up, is the tie and the pocket square are an exact match. Usually that's something that we try to avoid is the exact matching pocket square and tie. I know that retailers sell them, but usually that's something 
that we do like to avoid. We'll go with the tie, but then use the pocket square somewhere else. Maybe a white pocket square would be better. You can maybe pick up like a light blue or something like that. Otherwise, really, really nice. Just avoid the matching tie and the, and the matching pocket square. And we'll get to the next photo. All right, the next photo is, uh, I don't know where that is, but that looks really cool. Um, so let's start at the bottom and work our way up. There's a lot to like about this, but there's one little nitpick um, that you guys might notice right away. I'm okay with the boat shoes. It looks like we've got some, some boat shoes, but we've got white socks that are visible. I'm more of a fan of the no-show sock or just going sockless entirely. So I would try to go with um, like a more invisible sock or a low profile, a low vamp no-show sock. I think that just looks a little bit cleaner because your eye goes right to right to your ankles and it's just kind of, it just breaks up your overall look. Otherwise, the shorts fit you great. I like the length, I like the cut. They're not overly big and baggy. The shirt fits you phenomenally. It's not too long, the sleeves aren't too long, it's not too big and baggy. Otherwise, there's a lot to like. Just one little nitpick and that's again my opinion. Thank you very much for submitting your photo. All right, coming in next, we have our friend Matthias. I think it's Matthias or Matthias, I'm not exactly sure. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. So not much to really critique on this one because he's doing a really nice job. So starting with the feet, I think we've got maybe some espadrilles down there. I'm not exactly sure, it's kind of dark. Um, but the no-show socks or no sock look, I think looks really, really nice. The pink shorts fit you really well. Perfect length for you, perfect fit for you. Not anything to really complain about there. Are we running with the Henley? So we've got a kind of a maroon Henley. Nice color choice here because it sort of goes along with the pink shorts, uh, very well done. And I think we've got a natal strap on the watch, very cool. And is that a Loki bracelet? The white one with the black thing, Loki Loki. I have one somewhere, I used to wear bracelets quite a bit. Anyway, uh, thank you for sending in your photo, I appreciate it. Okay, next up is our friend Matt. So Matt sent me, I think, three different photos. I'm gonna show two of them here really quick. So this first one, Looks phenomenal. So obviously Matt is a pretty slender fit guy. Uh, you'll see in the other photo, he's pretty fit. Uh, whoops, let me get back to, so down at the feet, I really like the shoes, really like the shoes. White with a gum sole. I think they're really, really nice. I think I kind of need a pair now after seeing those. The jeans, the jeans fit you perfectly. I wouldn't change a thing with the jeans. They just, they, they're looking great. Uh, the brown belt, I'm gonna come back to the brown belt. The shirt is very cool. The sunglasses are very cool. That shirt is killing it. And it looks really nice with the color of denim that you selected. So really well done there. The shirt fits you nice. It doesn't billow out that much really at all. The sleeves fit you nicely. Yeah, really well done on the fit of everything you've got going on. My only suggestion would be to swap out the brown belt for the blue belt in the next photo. The brown just doesn't really doesn't really jive with anything else that you've got going on. So in that sense, it kind of throws me a little bit. But again, dude, very small nitpick. Let me show you the next photo. Okay, I think you said this one was from Disneyland or somewhere. I don't remember exactly what you said in your message. Uh, but again, nice white sneakers, white or kind of a cream colored short. They fit you really, really nicely. You're very athletic, as you can tell. So that's the blue belt that I think would go better in the other outfit, right? It's a darker navy, so it's still going to sort of add a little bit of contrast in your jeans, right? Uh, but I think it would be a better a better match. The, the gray polo looks nice. It fits you really well. You've got the little cool French tuck situation going. Very well done. Thank you very much. And I think that's a, yeah, that was your Disneyland bracelet or something. I remember you saying something about that or some type of theme park bracelet that you have on. Anyway, man, thank you very much for sending in your photos, Matt. All right, next up, we've got my man Oz. So Oz is out messing around and polishing up his Porsche. I think it's a Porsche. It's either a Porsche or maybe a Lotus. I'm not exactly sure. Oz, comment and let me know because uh, it's looking pretty sharp there. Speaking of sharp, you are looking amazingly sharp. So I can't really tell on the shoes, but maybe a black loafer, a black boat shoe, black sneaker, dark blue sneaker. I'm, I can't really tell. They're sort of cut off. Love the white trousers. Love the blue polo shirt with the white collar and love the hat. I wore something almost exactly like this yesterday. Uh, I didn't have white pants though. I had a really like a really, really light gray pair of chinos and I had a blue shirt almost just like that 
with some white piping on it. So yeah, uh, great minds, my friend. I love the hat, love the watch. You've got a couple bracelets going over here, it looks like. Yep, a double bracelet situation. Well done. I, I can't, I can't, there's nothing to say. Everything looks great. You look great. Nice job, man. Thank you for sending in your photos, man. I really appreciate it. Next up, we have Paul. Paul, thanks for sending in your photo. What a great looking outfit here. So starting down at the shoes, I think you and Majid are running with the same shoe sock situation. So just like I mentioned in Majid's photo, I personally like the no sock look, uh, especially when running with a slip on shoe like this. So that would be really, that's really the only thing that I would say that I would change about this entire ensemble or outfit, wardrobe, whatever you like to call it. Um, I like the white shorts, they fit you well. You're a slender guy, but well done on a fit selection on those shorts. Great length, great fit. I don't know what brand of polo shirt that is, but well done on the color choice because you've got an overall light theme going on. White shorts, this sort of light blue polo shirt. Well done. I don't know what animal that is, like a, is that a rhinoceros? No, it's an elk. I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know what brand that represents. Maybe fill me in down in the comments, but well done. Not bad. I like the blue and white. I think it's a blue and white NATO strap on the watch. Very nautical, very spring, very summer. Dude, well done. Great smile. Thank you very much for sending in your photos. All right, next up, we've got our friend Paulo. So Paulo, well done. So this looks like some kind of professional photo shoot or something. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but you look like a, a shirt model to some degree. Well done on pretty much everything. The only thing that I would say, so let's start down at the feet like we've been doing. I think those look like a blue suede uh, derby or something like that. I think that they're a little too dark and too heavy for the entire look that you've got going on. Everything else is really light. We've got a light tan, light tan or light gray. They look like linen shorts. They fit you really well. They're a perfect length. The shirt fits you phenomenally. It's not overly long. You can wear it untucked without it like looking super, super long. It fits you great in the body, in the chest, in the shoulders, in the arms. So well done with that. I don't know if that's been tailored or if that's off the rack. Good looking guy. It's just the shoes sort of hit me in a weird, like they're dark. They're just too dark for everything else that's going on. So like a light tan, a brown, White would always look good in this situation, but otherwise, Paulo, thank you for sending in this photo. It's really well done. Nice job, my friend. Last but not least is our friend, Ren. I don't know where this is. It looks like Vegas, but I don't think it is. I'm not exactly sure where this is, but uh, looks like a pretty nice area of whatever downtown this is. So, Ren looks like a younger guy, but let's run with this. So, let's start at the feet and work our way up. I like the shoes. I really like the shoes. I don't know if they're Nikes or something, but it's, 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 a, it's a trainer, uh, but it's a more sort of fashionable version of a trainer. I like that. It looks like they're maybe canvas with a little bit of suede uh, detail on them, but uh, nice shoe selection. I appreciate that. Great fit on the jeans. I wouldn't change a thing. Not too tight, not too loose. Really well done. Um, we've got a t-shirt, gray t-shirt with the big logo on it. I'm not necessarily a fan of the big logos all across the t-shirt, but you look like a younger guy. Uh, fit me apparel, I think is what it is. So, I mean, you're obviously a fit guy. Well done. You look like a million bucks. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Apple Watch. I like a more traditional watch. I'm not wearing one today, but uh, I do get it. I understand the Apple Watch, but uh, other, yeah, there's, nothing to, there's nothing, to, nothing to critique here, Ren. Really well done. Yeah, nice job. A nice city, I don't know where that is. Leave me a comment, let me know where you're at, man. Thanks for sending in this photo. Okay, gentlemen, this pretty much wraps up this one, and it also proves that you guys are indeed stylish, so that answers that question that we proposed at the top of this video. Guys, thank you very much for watching, thanks for being here, and I'll see you in just a few days for a brand new video, but until then, live well, stay healthy, and I'll see you very soon.